Hi, I'm Jeff with Part Solutions, and today we're going to take a look at how easy it is to spec in an ASME fastener using our Part Solutions uh, ASME B1824 digital fastener catalog. Uh, the great thing about this catalog is that it's going to put thousands of fasteners literally at your fingertips uh, and save you a lot of time in your design work. Today we're going to work in Inventor 2013. Uh, but it's important to remember we do have this product available for all the other major CAD packages, SolidWorks, Solid Edge, CATIA, Pro Engineer, and Creo, as well as Unigraphics NX. So the functions you see here today will transfer to all those other CAD systems as well. We're working on an assembly, and what we want to do is start mounting this assembly together using our ASME spec fasteners. So in Inventor, I'm going to go to my Integrated Part Solutions menu and choose my Insert 3D option. From here, I'll start to navigate through my ASME catalog to find my desired fastener. Uh, in this case, we're going to be using a socket head cap screw. So I will uh, load up that directory and choose my AES 14. You'll see here on my right, I'm going to have a preview of my fastener that I'll be using. And on my left, I'll have all my configuration options. So I can very quickly and easily here choose the thread type that I need. And once I've got that selected, my next step will be I'll choose my length. And finally, what I'm going to do is use our material and finish selection tool to uh, choose my material spec and as, um, also my finish spec to apply to that fastener. And it automatically generates a 18-digit ASME pin code for that. Next will be the transfer over to CAD. And what this will do is actually build a CAD native model in Inventor of this exact fastener. Uh, it's important to remember this is not a translated or imported neutral file. This is a native CAD model, uh, and it will build those native models in all of the other CAD formats that I mentioned previously. Here I'll use my Part Solutions Placement tool to choose the mounting holes on my assembly and place those fasteners in. They've automatically been added to my assembly tree, and they're ready for transfer to my bill of materials uh, so that I know the exact fasteners I need for this assembly. And really, that's it. It's that easy to use this tool to get these ASME spec fasteners into your designs. Uh, please check out our other videos for information about our pin lookup tool and our custom PDF data sheets as well.